Well, Bob Anthony is live in the Weather Control Center with the latest on this winter weather that we're following this yeah. morning. A wintry mix in some locations, as you'll see on Doppler radar. We actually had uh, some frozen precipitation here in downtown Boise, but it switched over to all rain since uh, our show started. But in some locations, a messy morning commute. At the very least, you might see some ponding of water on the roadways. We had uh, some frozen precipitation, some snow that switched over to a rain snow mix. Now mainly rain here in downtown Boise, but some of our outlying areas getting uh, some snow. And it's going to be a great ski weekend because it's all snow for our mount locations. We have our ski report coming up in just a bit. I'll try to update the numbers with the latest conditions since we had our precipitation that actually started kicking in about 3.30 this morning or so. Some wet pavement out there. There's our live shot. Here's Doppler radar. And you can see just in the satellite loop, starting off with a little bit of uh, mixed precipitation there in the purple for Boise, and then it switches over to rain. But we still have some snow going to the north of us, also to the east of us. Magic Valley uh, also looking at uh, maybe a little bit more snow than here in the valley. But anywhere from one to two inches where it is snowing, at least some snow sticking to the grassy areas, up there around uh, Baker County and portions of uh, eastern Oregon around Payette, probably looking at more snow than rain. And where you see that peach color, that's kind of a uh, mix of rain and snow. But so far around uh, Cannon County and the Boise area, mainly some rain in our last frame right there all green across uh, Boise into Canyon County, so mainly some rain showers. And here as we zoom in to our neighborhood, we have uh, all rain here in downtown Boise. Uh, most locations from downtown seeing some rain. Winter weather advisory in effect to all locations in the purple, eastern Oregon into our west central mountains where it's going to linger a little bit longer there. It expires later on this afternoon where it'll probably expire earlier this morning here in Boise. And uh, we're looking at one to two inches of some snow for many locations. Foothills will see quite a bit more, anywhere from two to four inches there. 35 degrees, so we're warm enough for mainly rain here in Boise, but in Canyon County, they're uh, right at the freezing mark in Napa. Caldwell's at 34 degrees. In McCall, it's all snow, 29 degrees up there. Satellite map has a storm system moving on in. This is our current satellite radar map. You can definitely see a storm pushing across the Pacific Northwest. We're not the only ones with the unsettled weather. Now, let's give you some idea of the timing with our future cast. This is looking into the future. This is this morning where we have a wintry mix with some snow further to the north along the foothills. You'll see that snow pretty low when we see some clearing this afternoon. Snow almost down to the valley floors. And then as we head into the morning hours, the precipitation tapers off. There is a break in the action. Uh, later on this afternoon, there's 415 this afternoon, and then we'll continue to clear up for this evening for a mixture of partly cloudy skies. Uh, that's uh, this evening at 920. Then as we head into the early morning hours, we'll be right in between storm systems for Saturday morning. We start to see the clouds increase. Precipitation lingers back until the afternoon evening hours. There's Saturday evening at 720 and we're looking at some more rain Then a little break in the action. But you can see this that is our frontal system and that will be pushing through later in the day on Sunday for some more rain about a 60% chance of additional showers. Here's our tight in closer view to, uh, our future cast for kilometer data with uh, that's about uh, two and a half miles. You can see Boise right on the dividing line with snow. Uh, reaching down along the uh, foothills, pretty close to the city. Uh, then we see some breaks in the clouds as we head into the evening hours. And then some more high clouds start to move in for Saturday afternoon. And then the precipitation starts to move in in the evening hours. Then we see a break before that next frontal system moves in for Sunday. Here's what we're looking at as far as our mount locations. Twin Falls, a rain snow mix, all snow for Sun Valley for today. Snow for McCall, 32 for McCall's High. I expect to see some decent snowfall amounts for Brundage Mountain this weekend. And I think your ski day is probably Saturday morning. Tomorrow morning, I think you'll actually see a bit of blue sky and some fresh snow. Uh, again, no friends on a powder day. Got to remember that. <laughs> and I think it will be a kind of a powder day tomorrow morning. 37 degrees in Boise. And here is our extended forecast. We're looking at a break in the action and then more rain showers moving in on Saturday evening. Rain showers on Sunday and then the showers taper off pretty mild over the weekend with highs approaching 40 degrees on Sunday, 44 Martin Luther King Jr. Day on Monday. Brian.